stand for a moment of silence and pledge to the flag after turning off your silence and your cell phones. And please remember President Bush. Okay, first up, uh, we have a, I'm sorry, roll call first. Please do that. Benelli? Paduk? Here. Amo? Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Chemnitz, I'm sorry, Chemnitz, Kulisek? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been embedded in my brain. Uh, Lujan? Present. Menuda? O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Twatel, Tui, Bureau, Fresh, 19 present. Okay, first up we have a special proclam proclamation recognizing Monroe Woodbury's girls and boys soccer team who both teams, excuse me, who both won the uh, state championship. Uh, I'd like to invite up legislator Peter Tui and Lori Tottel, who represents um, a part of Monroe as well. Uh, do you have a little district ferry in, in that area? Uh, so. Okay, so come on up to uh, County Execs Reps, Elsie Rodriguez, uh, Superintendent of Schools Monroe, Bill Pasiakis. Pasakis. Pasakis? Okay girls varsity soccer coach, and Ken Clearwater, boys varsity soccer coach, and Harry Poor, deputy county exec. And is uh, Tony uh, Cardone here, supervisor of Monroe, come on up. And is Neil here too? No. Yeah. Dwyer couldn't make it? Mayor of Monroe? Okay. First off, I'd like to congratulate you guys. Uh, this is fantastic. First time in the history of Orange County, I guess. Peter, New York, the, New York State, the two soccer teams from the same school won the state championship. That's truly amazing. I can't congratulate you. <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, let Legislator Peter Tui read the proclamation and say a few words, if you would, Peter. Sure. Thanks for coming up. What a crowd you got here today. That's great. I'm glad that you're all able to make it. Um, we're all so proud of you. And uh, to do this feat, I mean, to be the first time in state history, it's incredible, you know? And uh, so on behalf of the county uh, executive and the legislature, have, I want to just read this proclamation here. <clears throat> a proclamation of the Orange County Legislature of the uh, County of Orange recognizing the Monroe Woodbury Varsity Girls and Boys Soccer Team on their outstanding success in winning the New York State Section 9 Class AA Soccer Championship Games. Whereas on Saturday, November 11th, Sunday actually, November, was it Saturday or Sunday? Sunday, Sunday November 11th, we have a uh, typo here. Uh, the Monroe Woodbury Varsity Girls Soccer Team nine and one in the Monroe Woodbury Varsity Boys Soccer Team, 21 and 0, entered into their respective competitions for the New York State Section 9 Class AA Soccer Championship Games. Whereas on that day between the hours of 1.15 p.m. and 4.45 p.m., both teams had earned not one, but two New York State Championships. Whereas this monumental achievement is the first time in history that the girls and boys varsity soccer teams have won their individual championships in the same year from Monroe Woodbury High School and New York State. Now, therefore, it is hereby proclaimed 
that we find it fitting that the County of Orange and the State of New York recognize and honor these Crusader victories, the hard work of both teams, coaches, and families to reach this pinnacle of success. It is a true testament to all their sacrifice, dedication, and work ethic in the name and spirit of Monroe Woodbury High School and their loyal supporters. Uh, given this day, the sixth day of December 2018, it's got the county seal on it. It's signed by Acting County Executive Harry Poor. There he is, right next to me. <laughs> um, our Chairman, Steve Brescher, and myself, Peter Tuohy, from the 7th Legislative District, which is in Monroe, right where you guys are all. But uh, so on behalf of this, I'd like to give this to you guys to bring back to the school, all right? And uh, we have two others here. <clears throat> okay, we also have a distinguished service award of the County of Orange presented to Kenny Clearwater, Monroe Woodbury Varsity Boys Soccer Coach, New York State Section 9 Class AA Soccer Champions, given this sixth day of December 2018. Again, signed by myself and also our Chairman L. Stephen Brescher. Kenny? And we also finally have a Distinguished Service Award of the County of Orange presented to uh, Bill Pasiakos. Pasakis, okay. Monroe Woodbury Varsity Girls Soccer Coach, New York State Section 9 AA Soccer Champions, given the sixth day of December 2018, signed by myself and also our Chairman L. Stephen Brescher. And again, congratulations so much, everyone, and thank you all for coming up today. Um, we're going to go into our regular business now, and uh, you're more than welcome to stay, but I'm sure you've got other engagements, so uh, I appreciate you all coming up today. Wait a minute. Let's let uh, Harry say a couple words yes. and Tony, okay? Okay. Congratulations, all of you. I, I just got off the phone with the County Executive Steve Newhouse, and he told me how proud he is of you. He is a, uh, a member of the Monroe Woodbury fraternity and uh, wanted me to express to you directly from him that you should be duly proud and this is something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. It really is uh, an astonishing kind of uh, accomplishment to have both the men and the women win statewide in the same day within an hour and a half of each other. It was incredible, incredible. So congratulations to all of you. We also have certificates from the county executive which I gave to your coaches and he'll share those with you. Congratulations. Uh, just a few quick words. Uh, we're, we're proud of you. You know that. You came to our town board meeting this week. Uh, remember, you've created bonds with this championship that are going to last lifetime, your lifetimes. Remember to be humble. Remember to be kind. Remember to be faithful to your friends. And reach out to someone who may be in need. There you go. Uh, re <laughs> reach out to someone that may be in need, that may be looking up to you as a role model. So thank you very much for all you did and the sacrifices you made this season. Coaches as well. Thank you. Good afternoon. You guys are truly amazing. I know the dedication and the drive and the determination it takes to reach the level you've reached on the same day. That's just golden. So thank you to each of you and to your coaches and to your families who are out there in the rain and the cold cheering you on and being there every day for your practices. Thank you for all your dedication, your hard work. Take this memory with you for the rest of your lives. Congratulations. Yeah, just a few quick words. Um, you started and you embarked on this season in August, probably before August with some captain's practices. So it was a long journey that got you to where you got in achieving what you did by winning state championships. And you need to not only remember the thrill of that moment when the game was over, but also all the hard work you put into it, because without that hard work, you wouldn't have achieved what you did. Coaches, did you want to say a few words too or no? You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. Mr. Vasakis couldn't make it, so 
today, but the okay. sense of appreciation, yeah. and we all really appreciate it. Um, you guys recognizing us and, and staying involved is really nice to see. So thank you. And thank you guys all for coming out today. This is, you know, I know it's not right next door for you. Uh, beautiful place, isn't it? It's our, a little nicer than that elementary school where we had that public hearing a year ago. That, they got to spend a little money down there, right, Tony? But everybody knows that there's no ever, never any controversy in the greater Monroe area. But I got one question for you. Out of the two teams, who's the better team? The girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> Got to light the match here. Come on up. Let's get some pictures, you guys. Come on. <laughs> the girls got the hands up right away. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. no. Oh, two minutes. Come on, stop it. Why don't, let's take one here, and then we'll do one in the hall. Too. again you guys for coming in Monroe has always had a great sports tradition I'll tell you they've always had fantastic teams that I remember from many years ago but and next up we have Anne Marie Maglione director of the office of the aging um, and we have Senator Larkin here, uh, Proclamation for 2018 Senior Citizen of the Year, and Proclamation for Outstanding Contribution by a Senior Citizen, Bill Kaplan. I think we should all come up together. Um, both gentlemen are inseparable anyway, so we'll bring them up both at the same time. And Marie, um, Jimmy O'Donnell, who's uh, Bill's right hand, Bill Kaplan's right hand man at the Armory, I invite him up as well. Oh, Harry Poor, can't forget about Harry, Deputy County Exec. Okay, before I turn it over to Ann Marie to say a few words uh, on behalf of these two gentlemen, I'd just like to say that Bill Larkin had his retirement dinner at Anthony's Pier 9 a little over a week ago. A beautiful event, and Bill Kaplan was sitting right next to him. And 
They honored both gentlemen again at the other night at the partnership dinner, mainly you, but they mentioned, they could not mention, could not not mention Bill Kaplan's name as well. So um, I can't say enough about you two gentlemen for all you've done for our county. Uh, Bill invited me and my sons down to the armory a few, a uh, little over a month ago. Very impressive what they do for the inner city youth there. And, um, and he makes them read a book before they do anything. And no sports without reading a book, right? So, but Anne Marie, why don't you start us off and tell us what this is about. Thank you very much. Every year we select two individuals um, to honor us as our senior of the year and the senior that has made a significant contribution. And this year it was really a no-brainer that we honored Senator Larkin and Bill Kaplan. Um, these two gentlemen really exemplify what older adults do. They don't, you know, we often think older adults um, retire. <laughs> I am being careful. <laughs> but rather you two inspire. And you are such a wonderful example of what what um, what you should do. You give back to your community. Senator Larkin, I know that you're retiring. You will always be the people senator because you you look out for everyone and and it makes sense that you two are best friends. So on behalf of Office for the Aging and all of these almost 80,000 older adults that call Orange County home, I want to thank you for all everything that you do. We have a few we have a few little things for you. What we'd like to do is rather than just give you a plaque because I think you both have a thousand plaques, we purchased um, a painting that is done by an older adult in Orange County, and this is the view from, um, from Newburgh, so we thought that you would enjoy this. And I'd also like uh, Dr. Larry Force, who is our president of our advisory board, to maybe say something to uh, this we thought was done by an older adult, but it is a military thing. And I know that the military is so important to you, so we thought that this would be an appropriate thing for you. Do you want to say something? Sure. Thank you. It's uh, truly an honor to be here. Um, it's referred to as the Senior Citizen Award, but I was thinking about this today, that it really is a way that we also could, rec you know, could acknowledge you is not only senior citizen, but citizen senior. All of you have been, the two of you have been citizens throughout your life, across your life, across this community, across the state, in different countries, and truly, truly acknowledged as citizens who happen to be seniors. So with that, we'd like to thank you, we'd like to acknowledge you, and we'd like to salute you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll pass it on to Junior because I'm sure he has a great deal to say. Junior. <laughs> My senior didn't tell me to wear a tie because he doesn't wear one. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Bill Kaplan is an ideal. You know, in the last eight months, we've lost three wonderful, wonderful Americans. Mrs. Bush, Senator McLean, and now the 41st President Bush. And there are people who are on this earth that are still there that are senior to me in age. My friend Bill Kaplan. Bill Kaplan could have sit down and enjoyed the cool weather and everything else, but he put his heart and soul in the community and what he could do for others. I'm proud to call him my friend. Of course, we're both 1st Cavalry Division, and Custer, we told Custer what to do when he came by and took care of him. Thank you very much. What an honor. I'm sure my grandkids will look at it and they'll say, what is the boots for? And that's 
when their grandmother will get a little uptight because it touches me when I think of the men that I wrote home and said, I regret to inform you that your son, your husband, was killed this morning. Those are words you never want to have to do. Everybody's ever been in command. It's just like a businessman like Bill Kaplan. Something would happen and they would go out of business. And I can tell you there are businesses today that are making money that it hadn't been for Mr. Kaplan's ideas, vision of the future, they would be dead gone too. So thank you very much. Thank you. I just like just a minute, please. I'd like to follow up on something. Yesterday was one of the most interesting days I've had, and what a lesson in how to be a gentleman. And that was the passing of George Bush. Uh, the eulogies, the way he conducted himself, it's the way Sam Larkin has conducted himself all his life, and it's a, it's a certainly a lesson to all people in the political business of what you can be. Because here's a gentleman, forget what he did in office, the way he conducted himself, his life, his children. Uh, it was hard, listen to those eulogies, it had me completely awed. And what a, what a lesson in life for this whole country to see that you, to the, uh, the people come out, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, and give them the honor. And Bill, you know you're my hero. And uh, the only reason why the hell you're retiring. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. Yes, uh, it's a great honor to be with you, these gentlemen, both of them. Um, I know them for my, it seems like my entire life. I know Bill since he was, before he was town supervisor. I had the pleasure of going to junior high school and high school with Bill Kaplan's daughter, and uh, know that both families were very well. Uh, I just want to say something from, uh, you know, I'm a Newberger, I was city manager, it's my honor to be there. Is it an old joke, and it's not a very good joke about, about Newberg, it says when George Washington, who lived there for a year and a half, left, he said, don't do anything until I get back, right? Well, he never came back, obviously, <laughs> but what we did have is we had these two bills, and these two bills have done so much for that city it's just incredible. It's impossible to say thank you. And, when, and just for a few examples, uh, Orange County Community College, Bill, Bill, uh, the uh, Newburgh Armory, United, United uh, Unity Center, Bill and Bill, uh, Mount St. Mary College, Bill and Bill, St. Luke's Hospital, Bill and Bill, all those things would not have happened without you guys working as a team and making it so. So thank you all. And on behalf of Mr. Newhouse, I thank you very much for everything. Put a tie on. You didn't even tell them. You didn't even, and then you start lecturing us. Okay, you're the best. But this is really the epitome of what a public and private uh, partnership can be. Uh, 182 years between you. Not bad. Not bad. But he's slowing down a little. So I used to get calls at 6:30. Now I don't get until 7:30. So I appreciate. I appreciate that. You're not giving you back the microphone. Now you're in my house, all right? I don't get to speak at the Armory unless you let me. I'll, I'll give it back to you in a second. But uh, me and the Senator go way back from my days with the state police, and uh, you're definitely going to be missed in Albany. You already missed up there. And God bless you. I know you're not going to retire. You're going to be with this guy every day over at the Armory, and the two years will think of stuff, and then you'll call me and have it done. So I appreciate that. So my wife Margaret's here. She came to see the both of you, so we appreciate that. Uh, anyway, Bill and Bill, God bless the both of you for what you do. Really, you are the epitome of a public-private partnership. And uh, Harry mentioned uh, four of the great things you've done in the city of Newburgh. Uh, a lot of things couldn't happen without either one of you, and God bless the both of you. Now I'll give you back the mic. Uh, hopefully you forgot what you're going to say. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'll just say, well, Harry forgot one important thing, too, the Purple Heart Hall of Honor. Can't forget that. That never would have happened if not for these two gentlemen. And the new director is Brian Marr, former mayor of uh, Walden. Going to do a great job down there. 
And Jim Kulisak will attest to this too because he's involved in a lot of veterans affairs and, and nobody does more than you two. So today is the very least, it's apropos, the very least the County of Orange can do because you've done not only a lot for the city of Newburgh, but for the County of Orange. And we thank you gentlemen immensely and we will still be seeing you in the future. So let's get some pictures. I'll be Justin for right now. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's get a. Brian's okay. Justin's prettier than me. All right, one, two, three. Kaplan was telling you today, whoop, Bill Kaplan talked about President Bush. Look at him. That's not, that is in 1990 when I first ran for Senate. He came over to a fundraiser and sat down with me and he said, don't you have any pencils or shoes? I said, oh, yeah, I have a box full of them. He says, and then he said, I want a picture of this future senator for New York. He'll be there for a long while. <laughs> you didn't realize it, did you? <laughs> and then the other one, I'm proud of tonight. We, we found him. There he is. Ryan found this one, and he found this one here with my grandkids. But when I show them this tonight, they're old enough to know a little bit about the president. So say a good prayer for the family, but the family that sticks together makes a better country. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thanks again, Bill and Bill. We salute you, both of you. Godspeed in your retirement, Bill. Too bad, right? Not too shabby. Thanks, Bill. Thank you all for your service. Thank you for nominating me with my brother, Billy. And ladies and gentlemen, God bless America. Here, here. Thanks for coming out today, too. Appreciate it. Okay, first, uh, the only speaker signed? Oh, that's after, okay. Animals after. All right. No public participation. Uh, okay, Legislator Fagione, rules chairman. Thank you, Chairman. I uh, move to approve the minutes of August 2nd and September 6, 2018. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Chairman. Okay, Legislator Fagione again. Thank you, Chairman. I move to vote collectively on agenda items number 25 through 50. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done. We're on to the agenda, right? 
Okay, numero uno, number one. Any comments and referrals, consents, withdrawals? Okay, Legislator Ben, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wouldn't have let you forgotten either. Thank you, Antoinette. Uh, at this time, I'd like to request that number nine on the agenda, resolution authorizing the Orange County Department of Public Works to adjust the tip fee surcharge for recycling commodities be withdrawn. I second that. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done. Okay, on to number one. Legislator Fagione, resolution fixing date, time and place of meeting to organize the county legislature in 2019 and to conduct certain county business pursuant to sections 151 and 152 of the county law. Discussion? Roll call. Paduke? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number two. Legislators Cheney and Kulsek. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds as a subcontractor to the Orange County Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. You want to be added? Fagione added. Discussion? Total, I'm sorry. No, oh, Sam, sorry. Too much, probably. Get over it, right? It's the English side of me. Right, Lori, you want to be added? I, th I thought you wanted a discussion. Okay, Lori added. Roll call. Paduke? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number three. Legislators Paduke and Kulasek. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works to implement and fund in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state Marcaselli program aid eligible cost of a transportation federal aid project and appropriate funds therefore pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? You're all added. Okay, anybody else? Roll call. Paduke? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number four. Legislators Benelli and Tui. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature giving notice of intent to assume late agency status under State Environmental Quality Review Act CECRA with respect to the replacement of Board Bridge in the town of Blooming Grove, making a preliminary determination that this project be classified as an unlisted action. Discussion? Mr. Ganga added. Roll call. Oh, hotel added. Roll call. Paduke? Yes. And Agnes Dacus? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. And number five, bond resolution, two thirds vote. Legislators Benelli and Benton, bond resolution dated December 6, 2018, bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the preparation of surveys, preliminary and detailed plans, specifications and estimates necessary for the replacement of Board Bridge in the town of Blooming Grove, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to pay the cost thereof. Second. Discussion? Staganga Tartel added again. Roll call. Paduke? Yes. <clears throat> Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number six. Legislators Kulasek and Ruskevich. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature giving notice of intent to assume lead agency status under State Environmental Quality Review Act CEQA with respect to the replacement of Main Street Bridge Number 2 in the Town of Cornwall, making a preliminary determination that this project be classified as an unlisted action. Second. Discussion? 
Hines added, Cotel added, Stagenga added. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kosek? Lujan? O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number seven, another bond resolution requiring 14 votes. Legislators Kulasek, Benton, and Hines. Bond resolution dated December 6, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the preparation of surveys, preliminary and detailed plans, specifications and estimates necessary for the replacement of Main Street Bridge Number 2 in the Town of Cornwall, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is $125,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $125,000 bonds of the county to pay the cost thereof. Second. Discussion? Uh, Sotel added, Stagenga added, Kevendarian, Luan added. Uh, was there another hand I missed over here? I thought I saw one. Okay. Roll call. Paduk, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Ruskevich, Kulasek, Benton, and O'Donnell. Bond resolution dated December 6, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of various bridge improvements, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 500,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 500,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. This requires a supermajority as well. Okay, Fagion added, Sutherland added, Tautel, Stiganga, Luan. A roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 18 ayes. Okay, number nine. Withdrawn. Oh, withdrawn, I'm sorry. I read in front. 10. Legislator Benelli, resolution authorizing the Orange County Department of Public Works to adjust the tip fee surcharge for recycling commodities. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Yes, Cheney? Fagion? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 16 ayes, one no, one abstention. Okay, number 11. Legislators Benton and Sutherland. Resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Finance for the County of Orange to make refunds or corrections of taxes in the amount of $2,500 or less. Second. Fagione added. Roll, um, Tui added. Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 17 ayes, 1 no. Okay, number 12. Legislators Benton and Anagnostakis. Resolution allowing the Department of Finance to increase the 2018 debt service budget. Discussion? Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 17 ayes, 1 no. And number 13. Legislator Sassy and Staganga. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office, District Attorney's Office, the County Attorney's Office and the Departments of Probation and Emergency Services, Emergency Management, to submit grant applications to the United States Departments of Justice, Homeland Security, and New York State Departments of Homeland Security and Emergency Services and Transportation for Law Enforcement and Public Safety and Emergency Services Communications Purposes, pursuant to Section 99-H of a General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Add Sierra, add Bureau, 
at Sutherland, at Fagione, at Paduc, at Tortel, at Tui. I'm sorry, Luhan also, I didn't see you, Kevin. Darian, sorry. It's easier to just ask everybody to go on. It, but okay, roll call. Paduc? Yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vera, Brescia, 18 eyes. Number 14. Legislators Fagione and Luhan. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office, District Attorney's Office, the County Attorney's Office, and the Departments of Probation, Social Services, Mental Health, Medical Examiner's Office, and Emergency Services, Emergency Management to submit applications for grant programs offered by the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to Section 99-H of a General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion Bureau added, Staganga added, Tui added, Totel added, Sierra added, Sassy added, O'Donnell added, Sutherland added. Okay, roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 eyes. 15. Legislators Luhan, Anagnostakis, and Totel. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Social Services. Pursuant to Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. The Duke added. As the gang added. Roll call. The Duke. Yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 eyes. Number 16. Legislators to in Sutherland. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate funds from the Warwick Valley Central School District pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion, Duganga, I mean, uh, Total added. Barry Cheney added, okay. Peter, did you have your hand up? No. Okay, Duganga added, Ruskevich added, Bureau added. Roll call. Paduk, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 18 eyes. And number 17. Legislators Benton and Luhan. Resolution designating Orange County Tourism as the Tourism Promotion Agency of Orange County pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Bureau added. Uh, okay, Tui, Staganga, and Totel added. And who? Fagione, I'm sorry. Roll call. Duke? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 18 eyes. Number 18. Legislators Fagione and Staganga. Resolution pursuant to local law number nine of 2018 ethics and disclosure law <coughs> section eight paragraph A, amending the appendix A list of positions of certain county officers and local political officials required to file a financial disclosure form by deleting the current list and adopting an amended list in its place. Discussion. Uh, uh, Total added. Sorry. Roll call. Paduk. Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 18 eyes. Okay, number 19. Legislators Benton, Staganga, Tui, and Benelli. 
an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify principal account clerk to associate account clerk one at the Orange County Department of Public Works pursuant to section 2.02 I of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Paduk? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 eyes. A20 receive and file, number 20. Legislator Benton, resolution finally adopting the proposed budget of the Orange County for, I'm sorry, of Orange County for the year 2019, pursuant to section 360 of the county law and section 4.07 of the Orange County Charter and Administrative Code. Second. Discussion? Duke. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to make a few comments on the proposed budget for 2019. But first, I'd like to thank uh, the Democratic Caucus and others for the many questions and concerns brought up during our budget review. I have expressed my concerns for many years regarding overestimating expenses and the over 100 funded but unfilled positions that cost the taxpayers millions of dollars each year. The 2018 budget surplus is $26.5 million, which included close to $4 million in contingency funds that we hardly ever used but taxed our residents on. As I reviewed prior year's budgets, I have found that we can do a much, a much better job if we do more of an in-depth review of the proposed budgets. We need to have a greater oversight of our contractual proposed expenses as to the actual amount needed to keep our county running smoothly. In 217, and I'll use that because 18's numbers aren't available yet, the contractual lines in our budget returned over $13 million alone from the approved budget. That's 6% overestimated expenses in the contractual line alone. We can do better. In fact, it's our job to protect the taxpayers from unnecessary expenses that we let slip by every year. In fact, this year, we will be above the unofficial 7% budgeted appropriations in an amount close to $56 million in our fund balance. We need to stop stealing money from our taxpayers. However, I would like to compliment the leadership and others for actually agreeing to address programs that we financially support but do not get written reports or results from. We will be working on a form which will require all proposed recipients to fill out. This form will inform us of what the money was specifically used on and a report detailing the results before they are funded again. We will be bringing our own legislative budget consultant to help us better understand our complex budget and to help us recognize areas in the budget we can address more efficiently. I think that's a good start. However, due to all the information requested this year, but not received by me and others during the budget hearings, I'll be voting no today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Legislator Tuttle. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, I understand that we have gone down from 3.83% to 3.7714. The communities that I represent are going up to the tune of 4.16%, 3.30%, and 7.18%. And due to that, uh, especially the communities that have no growth potential and can't sustain this, I am going to be a no vote on today's budget. Legislator Knight Dostakis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, don't have anything prepared to say. I didn't, uh, didn't think I would be talking on this issue. Uh, today, but after hearing my uh, my other two colleagues, I think I do have to make a few points, especially since we do have a lot of colleagues this year that are new to the process and it is their first year in office. So um, again, without having prepared remarks and just going off memory, we do have to realize that uh, the legislative process and all the questions that uh, the accountants, uh, the uh, legislators asked and all the changes that they made resulted in a net decrease of $2.1 million to the taxpayers of Orange County. Now, some of us wanted more, and uh, the minority leader is correct. There are more monies potentially there in unfunded positions. There are more monies there in interest 
that we'll earn that we've underestimated. There are more monies there for properties that we're going to sell um, that could have reduced this taxation even further. And some of us did push for that, and some of us didn't get that. However, we did get 2.1 million reduction for the taxpayers of Orange County. And if we vote no, and if we don't pass the budget that's in front of us today, those people voting no are effectively saying, I want to revert back to the county executive's budget, which has a $2.1 million increase above and beyond what you would have if you voted yes. So a, a yes vote is to reduce taxes by $2.1 million to the taxpayers of Orange County. A vote no is to increase taxes by $2.1 million to the taxpayers of Orange County. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay, I will say that Legislator Nagnostakis is right. We did cut the county exec's budget. I thought it was closer to 2.2, but that's semantics. But it is, we did cut the county exec's budget. And we thought we cut it responsibly. We cut it much more, as the minority leader suggests. Uh, many of us felt it would uh, put us in much worse of a situation with the tax cap next year. That's why we didn't cut much more. But I think I would like to congratulate all legisl congratulate, excuse me, all legislators on working well during the process and coming up with great ideas. And, and supporting the budget analyst, however, which in whichever form we uh, take it in next year to work together and try to get other questions answered. So, um, yes, you want to say something else? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Nagastakis. That really uh, switches me up a little bit, I'll say, uh, because I am supportive of the cuts that we made. However, the fact still remains of everything that I expressed, and I'm hoping that we can work and do a better job on it next year. I'm sure the budget will pass anyway, but I will be supporting it just to uh, sincerely say that we, we have worked on it. We have reduced your taxes by $2.1 million more, so thank you for that. Correct. Yes, Legislator Luhan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just want to echo what uh, some of the other legislators said. You know, this this has been a tough year for for, for a lot of people, and um, you know I, I think it's really great as as a first time legislator, um, it's wonderful to see that uh, party politics can sometimes not get in the way, and uh, I think that we have worked well together this year to try to address. Now I, I agree we could have done a lot more. I, I I coming from a community that is unfortunately heavily taxed, um, struggling community in the city of Newburgh, um, I would have liked to see more tax reduction. But 2.2 million dollars, I'll take that as a win. I'll take that for a win for a lot of people who are currently suffering and who, who need that little bit of extra help. So I, I just want to thank uh, all my fellow legislators for, for working diligently, and uh, it's been a pleasure to be able to get this accomplished this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Roll call. I'm sorry. Do you want to, uh, Legislator Sierra? Thank and you, thanks to Ganga, I'm sorry. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I had nothing sp prepared to speak uh, tonight at all, but. Hearing Mr. Anagastakis and uh, my other colleagues speaking, um, I am a first year legislator here, and I was not really sure how the budget process worked here. It works differently from where I come from. I was shocked that it is the county exec's budget, and I was disappointed on the lack of um, explanation we did get from the exec's office on certain budgetary items. I'm actually happy that we are passing resolutions to have our own financial uh, advisors for our budget next year. Um, but I cannot, I promised my constituency I would not raise their taxes and this budget allows for a over 5% increase to my constituency so I will not be voting for this budget. Thank you. Legislator Stegango. Hi, thank you, Chairman. Um, as the representative for part of Blooming Grove, which has the highest tax rate and so forth. Um, this budget process, which I felt was very good, it, it, everybody seemed to pull together. We did try and were successful in lowering it that 2.1 or 2.2 million and so forth. Um, it's kind of disheartening that we have to look forward to next year and start this process as a first year, so not being involved last year. Um, I am looking forward to the changes that we're going to make, that there's going to be a little bit more oversight on some of the different departments and the different organizations and so forth that we do so that maybe we can make this a little bit more affordable for our residents and the people who are paying the taxes for this. Um, but I would like to thank everybody for um, a successful and, and fairly easy budget. I think everybody worked together on both sides of the table. 
and that we did at least accomplish lowering it something to give some relief to some of our residents. Thank you. And finally, I will say that this is the executive recommended budget that we are about to adopt, but it is every bit as much our budget, the legislature's budget, as it is the county executives. One of our most important functions as legislators is to vote on a budget. And we can tweak the budget any which way we want to. And I think we've had great insight and input into the budget. So without further ado, roll call. Paduk. Yes. Anagnostakis. Yes. Benton. Yes. Cheney. Fagione. Hines. Kulasek. Lujan. Aye. O'Donnell. Riskevich. Sassy. Sierra. Staganga. Sutherland. Tortell. Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 16 eyes, two nose. Okay, number 21. Legislator Benton, resolution making appropriations for the conduct of the government of Orange County, Orange County Social Services District, Orange County Sewer District Number One, the Orange County Small Watershed Protection District Number One for Cromline Creek and the Beaver Dam Lake District for the fiscal year 2019. Pursuant to sections 356 and 360 of the county law and sections 4-8 and 4-9B of the Orange County Administrative Code. Second. Discussion. Bureau added. Okay. Roll call. Paduk. Yes. Anagnostakis. Benton. Cheney. Fagione. Hines. Kulasek. Lujan. O'Donnell. Riskevich. Sassy. Sierra. Staganga. Sutherland. Tortell. Tui, Vero, Brescia, 18 eyes. Okay, number 22. Legislator Benton, resolution providing for the raising of taxes required by the Orange County budget for general government purposes, social services district purposes, Orange County sewer district number one purposes, Orange County small watershed protection district number one for Crown Line Creek purposes, and Beaver Dam Lake district purposes and levying taxes pursuant to section 360 of the county law, section 900 of the real property tax law, and section 4.8 of the Orange County Charter and Administrative Code. Second. And bureau added to. Roll call. Paduk. Yes. Anagnostakis. Benton. Cheney. Fagione. Hines. Kulasek. Lujan. O'Donnell. Ruskevich. Sassy. Sierra. Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 18 eyes. Number 23. Legislator Benton, resolution adopting the 2019 capital program pursuant to the Orange County Charter section 4.07. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Tui added? Okay, roll call. Paduk, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 18 eyes. And number 24. Legislator Benton, resolution making appropriation to Cornell Cooperative Extension Association of Orange County pursuant to subdivision eight and section 224 of the county law. Second. Question. Cheney added, Chris Gavich, I figured, added. Staganga, Hotel, Kulasek, Sutherland, O'Donnell, and Paduk and Kevin Darian Lujan. Okay, roll call. Paduk? Yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 18 eyes. Okay, number 25 through 50, and the desk will be cleared, Madam Clerk, right? Yes. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> All the tax resolutions for the local municipalities. Okay, thank you. That's right. Roll call. Paduk, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, one speaker, Mr. Ron Animal Hughes. Thank you for recognizing me, Mr. Chairman. 
John? Animal? Okay. Thank you for recognizing me, and I congratulate you guys for working together on all your serious budgetary. I, I've spoken a couple times about our tree programs, and I've done some more research in the gutter, on the sidewalks, and throughout the county. And I believe that that group that we had here this evening is a typical example of when we need to start with kids in high school and junior high school to become part of the community and to help benefit the community by their activities. Now, the tree program I talked about is a Herculean assignment. It isn't something that can happen overnight. And I've spoken to so many legislators here in the room, Mr. Teeny especially, about what the county's cooking up with their parks commissioner. I believe it's time that we invite all of our groups, the conservation advisory committee, committees, the scout groups, both male and female, watershed groups, rail trail groups, the New York, New Jersey walking trail, and everybody that has something to do with conservation and outdoors so that we can clearly identify as the first part of this Herculean assignment. Just for an example, the city of Newburgh, I'm not singling them out, but on 2.1 square miles, they have 7,000 trees. 800 of them need to come down yesterday. In the town of Newburgh, we have 26 square miles. It's around the same. So in order to be able to identify these trees that need to go first, I think is the biggest part of the program. And we need to come up with some sort of color-coded way where we can identify the real killers first and the ones that don't have to be done right away and start working on this thing. We can chisel at it little by little and get there in a hurry so that when the crews finally do go out, they can see in each municipality what needs to be done. Now, there's lots of other groups that I may have failed to mention that are conservationists and environmentalists that we can also employ in services, but I think the high schools and the junior high schools should be implemented into this program so that they can make citizen adults like we have here in this room and start them at an early age to become part of this program. I have half of it in my head about what we can do with color-coded paints high and up above on the trees so as the trucks are driving by, they can spot the worst ones first and go after those and eliminate the liability and the danger that are eminent dangers to our public. And I'd like to get a meeting together with the Green Committee or whatever committees might feel necessary to implement this program. We have a ton of trees out there that need to go yesterday. The other thing is that I brought up uh, on our reservoirs about getting rid of the siltation problems. And there's the same group of people I talked about with the tree program that can be implemented to go out in each of the communities and each of the municipalities to successfully complete this task. So I'm easy enough to find. Give me a buzz and let's get this thing rolling. Thank you for listening to what I have to say. Thank you, Animal. Maybe you can be added to the Green Committee before long here. So, I'd be no. What's that? I'd be delighted. Okay. Hey, Animal. You know something, you, you, you'd make a pretty good Santa Claus, you know that? <laughs> oh, stop, I'm just kidding. Animal knows me all my life. I, all right, motion to adjourn. <laughs>